This is a classroom of honeybees, where they are not taught but trained. Sitting inside a circuit board, these honeybees, after their training, will function as a digital sensor, a sensor that can easily detect explosives and drugs. It is quite difficult to think and understand how honeybees, a small insect, can detect explosives and drugs so efficiently, and then how they send their signal to us humans. But this is a reality, and it is also possible. The beginning of this training starts from the beehives, where first, a device is used to select the bees. After gathering them in this device, they are shifted to the lab, where the process of their training begins. After coming out of the hive, they are very violent. So first, they are placed in a refrigerator to cool them down so that their movement can be reduced. After cooling them down, they are caught by hands and placed in a harness, where they cannot fly but their face remains open. Now, in this harness, they are left for 30 minutes so that they can get used to their new environment. Loading each bee into the harness by hands is a very time-consuming task. So many laboratories do this work with the help of machines. Now for the next two days, these bees are trained, and this training is exactly like how dogs are trained to detect drugs and explosives. Like dogs, the smelling power of honeybees is also very sharp. Both creatures have the ability to smell their target from miles away. If dogs are to be given training to detect explosives, from a young age, they are made to smell the explosive powder. Whenever the dog smells it, it is given something to eat as a reward. It is ensured that dogs are not given food without the smell of explosives. Gradually, the dog understands very well that it will only get food when it smells explosives. Using this psychology of dogs, now using them for explosive detection at airports becomes very easy. Whenever it smells explosives in any luggage, compelled by its habit, it sticks out its tongue in front of its owner or trainer, and at that moment, it is given food as a reward. Even if explosives are not found, the trainer has to, first, make it smell explosives, and then, give it food. But how do honeybees do this work? How do they inform humans that they have now smelled explosives or drugs? As we all know, bees suck the nectar from flowers. When they smell the scent of a flower, they extend their tongue, which acts like a straw to suck in the liquid. Changing the habit of extending the tongue at the smell of flowers is not so difficult. Bees tied in a harness are exhausted, and then a shortlisting is done among them. For shortlisting, a cotton bud dipped in sweet water is placed in front of them. The bees interested in sucking this sweet water extend their tongue. This is the point when these bees are shortlisted and sent to the next phase of training. Now, these shortlisted bees are exposed to explosive vapor for six seconds, and in the last three seconds, they are given a cotton bud dipped in sweet water. This process is run with the help of an automatic machine. Within a few hours, the honeybees are well trained, understanding that immediately after the particular smell of explosives, they are going to receive sweet water as a reward. So, automatically after this specific smell, they extend their tongue. Now these bees are fully trained, hence they are removed from the harness and released into a container. And the same training is given to the next batch of bees. This training can be given for explosive powder, as well as narcotics. But now the problem is that this specific response of the bees can be seen by humans through a microscope. But practically it is not possible to do so at airports and sensitive areas. Something must be done so that a machine can also detect when bees extend their tongue after smelling explosives. There could be several ways to do this, one of which is video processing. Yes, bees are fitted into a harness and placed inside a monitoring device. Micro cameras in this device detect the extension of the bee's tongues through AI video processing and immediately display an alarm on the screen. At the same time, the machine presents a cotton bud dipped in sweet water in front of the bees as a reward. Besides cameras, the bee's reaction can also be recorded with infrared light. Infrared light is fitted under the bee's faces in such a way that if they extend their tongues, the light falling on the sensor will decrease. When this happens, the light sensor understands that the bees' tongues are extended. Using this method, 36 honeybees are placed in a handheld machine, which the security staff holds in front of a passenger's bag for six seconds. If there are drugs or explosives in the bag, a red alarm will immediately display on the screen. If we compare the capabilities of dogs and honeybees, there is a significant difference. The training given to dogs takes years, while bees can be trained in just a few hours. Not only that, but compared to dogs, the cost of using bees is also much lower. Moreover, there are many cases where using dogs is not possible, such as for landmines buried in the ground. 
These landmines explode with even a slight weight on them, and clearly, this is not a job for dogs. For this, trained bees are released and monitored with drones. If they smell explosives somewhere, they start circling around that area in the hope of getting sweet water. This reaction of the bees is watched live through a camera, and experts directly reach that spot to give the bees their reward and defuse the landmine. Till today, not only trained dogs and honeybees have been used for security purposes, many other animals have been extensively used in military operations throughout history. A dedicated video on this topic will soon be available on this channel.